Hi everybody, I'm Lois McNamara, Assistant Dean for Academic and Student Affairs at GSE. We're going to talk about everything you need to know about graduation and commencement and your diploma. Uh, but before we do that, I'd like to introduce Kervin Bijot, who is our Assistant Dean for Admissions and Financial Aid. Hi everyone. As Lois mentioned, I conduct the admissions and financial aid process here for Penn GSE and I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you a little bit about public service loan forgiveness. So for uh, students who are U.S. citizens or permanent residents, they have the opportunity to apply for public service loan forgiveness if they meet certain qualifications. Essentially, if you have any eligible loans, meaning if you have any federal direct loans, and if you have multiple loans, you can also consolidate them into one direct loan and you make eligible payments and have an eligible job, you can have, after 10 years of consecutive payments, you have your public service loans forgiven. So it means it's essentially if you can work for any kind of nonprofit entity or government entity, whether that's state, uh, local, or federal government, and you make uh, 10 con or 120 consecutive payments, which is 10 years worth of payments on your student loans, you can have the remaining balance of your loans forgiven. More details are available in our financial aid office, and we do have brochures that talk a little bit more and explain that process in detail. There are about five specific income payment plans that you have to be part of in order to be eligible for this. Again, you also have to be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, and then have that job eligibility being either working for a nonprofit or for a local, state, or federal agency, government agency. So more information is available on our website or in our admissions office. You can feel free to connect with us at any time. There are a couple of steps to make sure that you graduate in the semester you intend to graduate. The first is to apply for graduation. That's a simple online process that you have to do by March 3rd. This is the link and this is the website where you apply to graduate. As you can see, there are two distinct places. If you're a PhD student or an MS student, you click this link. But if you are going for your EDD or your MPhil or your MSED, then you click this link. Um, once you submit the form applying to graduate, that puts you in the system for a degree audit and for the secretary's office of the university to order you a diploma. After you apply to graduate, we will contact you with a link for you to RCP for the commencement ceremony to let us know if you're coming to participate in the GSE commencement ceremony on Saturday, and if so, how many guests you intend to bring. And furthermore, if you're coming to the reception immediately following the ceremony, and how many guests you're bringing to the reception, and if there are any dietary needs. So, after March 27th, if you've applied to graduate, um, and or you will be an August um, 17 graduate, uh, we will contact you with the link to RSVP. We're also going to put the link up on this website as well. And Imani's going to talk a little bit now about the actual um, ceremony at GSA. All right, my name is Imani Harvin and I work in the Office of Student Affairs at GSC with Lois McNamara. So commencement this year will be on Saturday, May 13th. And you can find more information. You can get to this tab from the current students tab on the GSC's homepage. Scroll down and here's all the information you need to know about the ceremony. The guest seating opens at 8.30 a.m. And if you have elderly guests and or handicapped guests, the entrance we would prefer that you use is on 33rd and South Street. From that entrance, we do have golf carts that are able to cart your guests from the entrance over to the seating area because Franklin Field is pretty large and we want to make sure we could accommodate everyone. If you need special accommodations for your guests, please feel free to contact me. My telephone number is 215-898-6456 or you can contact me via email, imanij at upenn.edu. My information is also on the website. The most important question that everyone wants to know, there are no tickets required for our ceremony. You can bring as many guests as you see fit. Franklin Field is a huge space, so we can more than likely accommodate everyone. The processional for the students starts at 9.45 a.m. You must show up in your regalia. That means cap, gown, and tassel. We will not have extras on hand, so we need every graduate to be dressed when they show up to commencement. And if you're wondering where you can order your regalia, that is done through the bookstore. 
They are currently updating their website to have that information. There is also an option to have your items shipped to you if you're not able to pick them up beforehand. So if you need more information on regalia ordering, please feel free to contact the bookstore. We encourage you to also bring bobby pins and safety pins to fasten hoods and keep caps on your head because that would be horrible if your cap flew away in the middle of the ceremony. Alright, in case of bad weather, which doesn't typically happen, but if it does, it will be updated here on the website as well as our guidebook app. The ceremony will be moved to the palestra. Lois will make the call at 7 a.m. to be sure if we'll be in Franklin Field or in the palestra. So if it's looking a little cloudy that day, please check the website and or the app so you know where to show up um, when it is time to come to commencement. As I said, all of the information can be found here. We also have a few links to the diagrams to show the entrances and where the, how, the, how it will be set up and where the seating will be. All right, so you want to be sure that you update your pen and touch account. Your diplomas will be sent to the permanent address listed in your pen and touch. So you want to make sure you go in and do that before June 1st, preferably as soon as possible so it's one less thing that you have to worry about when commencement is coming up. So you want to be sure to make sure you want to be sure that your address information is correct so that we send your diploma to the correct place. Again, as I said, if there's bad weather, it will be updated here on this website. If you are concerned about parking, which you should be, you might want to leave a little early to leave time. There are there's a list of parking lots around campus that your you and your guests are welcome to use and you just want to make sure you leave enough time to find a spot and to get from the parking lot to Franklin Field because it is also alumni weekend so there's a lot going on on campus and you want to make sure that you're not late. Again for elderly guests or guests with disabilities please feel free to contact me ahead of time so that we can set up the arrangements and we also have a little frequently asked questions section at the bottom. If you have any other questions that are not addressed here, you can feel free to contact myself or Lois McNamara. So uh, please uh, go to the App Store on your phone and download the free app for the Penn GSC Commencement 2017. The guidebook will provide you and your guests with information on your phone in the moment about everything that is here on the website. So whether you're looking for a parking lot, whether you're looking for a diagram of Franklin Field to see where you're supposed to register when you arrive, whether you're looking for information about local restaurants or information about the commencement speaker, all of that information will be provided on the guidebook app. So we encourage you and your guests to download the app. Now I'm going to be talking about the RSVP process, which is done through software called Name Coach. As Lois mentioned, you will be getting an email after the Apply to Graduation deadline, and it'll look something like this. It will include a link to record your name and to let us know that you're coming to the ceremony and or the reception. So when you click the link here, it'll take you to the Name Coach website, and it'll just ask you some simple information. So. Your name and email will already be populated. And then it'll ask you for how, how you would like your name to be pronounced. And for some people, your name is, might not be as common or might be a little more difficult for people to pronounce. So we also have a section for you to enter your phonetic spelling, just in case we need a little extra, extra help here. It'll ask you for your pen ID number as well. And it'll ask you for a valid non-GSE email address so that we can keep in touch with you and, and make sure that you're aware of alumni opportunities. So again, you want to make sure this is a valid non-GSE email. And next it'll ask you, will you be participating in the GSE ceremony? Yes or no? Hopefully yes, because you guys have worked really hard to be here. Next, it'll ask how many guests you plan to bring to the ceremony. And again, there is no tickets required, so you can bring as many people as you see fit. It will ask you what degree you are getting, everything from an MS to a PhD. If you are a doctoral student, it will ask you who will be the faculty member that is hooding you at the ceremony. The list is in order by last name. It is an alphabetical order by last name for our faculty members. 
there's a little box to ask, will you be attending the reception? Again, hopefully yes. This will also ask how many guests just for catering needs and to make sure that we can accommodate everyone. And if you have any dietary restrictions, this would be the place to let us know so that we can be sure to accommodate your needs. So then you'll hit save and continue. And you'll have two options to record your name. You can either have a phone call, name coach will give you a call and say, hey, this is name coach, we'd like to record your name. And you can record your name as many times as you see fit. You can also listen to the playback as well. Or if you have a device that is capable of recording, you can do it that way. That's with like a computer, an iPad, a tablet, anything like that. It's totally up to you. And then once you do these two steps, you are finished. We now know if you're coming to the ceremony, if you're coming to the reception, how many people. We can practice saying your name and then you're all set. That's the end of the process.